Having a fire detection system can significantly reduce damages and maximize fire control efforts. It is also one of the most fundamental steps you can take for fire safety measures. Even if you are sleeping or busy working, early fire detection will warn you and help you respond quickly so you'll be out of danger. Parts of the fire alarm system. Smoke alarms detect fires by sensing small particles in the air using a couple of different kinds of technologies. Once they detect those particles above a certain threshold, they signal the alarm to sound so that you and your family can get to safety and call 911. Smoke alarms save lives. Heat detectors are intended to minimize property damage by reacting to the change in temperature caused by a fire. Smoke detectors are intended to protect people and property by generating an alarm earlier in the development of a fire. Optical beam smoke detectors work on the principle of light obscuration, where the presence of smoke blocks some of the light from the beam, typically through either absorbance or light scattering. Once a certain percentage of the transmitted light has been blocked by the smoke, a fire is signaled. Duct detectors sample currents in the air handling equipment to determine if smoke or fumes are present. If smoke is detected, the device will close dampers, stop fans and blowers, and trigger an audible and visible signal at the fire control panel. A fire alarm sounder and fire alarm beacon can be an essential part of an addressable fire alarm system on your work premises. Fire alarm sounders and beacons provide an audible and visual warning in the event of a fire, ensuring that everyone on the premises is alerted to the potential danger. Fire alarm flashers are a worthwhile addition to any fire alarm system, they provide a visual warning of fire. Fire alarm flashers first emerged on the fire alarm market in the 1970s, mostly as red or white incandescent lights and as an accessory to an existing fire alarm. Manual call points are typically installed at various fire escape route locations throughout the premises. Featuring bright red housing for ease of identification, the manual call point allows for occupants to manually activate the fire alarm system in the event of an emergency. A control module operates as a single entity and performs the basic control function. A control module is made up of sensors, controllers, actuators or other control modules. Control modules cannot execute procedural control, they are called upon by procedural control to perform the specific action. Monitor modules are used to get activation inputs from other systems in case of emergency conditions, trouble or fire, such as firefighting systems, fire extinguishers panels, LPG panels, etc. Control modules are used to control third-party interfacings like elevators, access doors, vac systems, etc. The firefighter telephone is used by fire officers or building management during an emergency, such as a fire. It is a means of direct communication between those in different areas, levels of a building and a trained, responsible person at the control console. A repeater panel is used in a remote location, away from the control panel. It passively displays the condition of the fire alarm panel. If there are control buttons on the repeater panel, it can also actively control the fire alarm system. An LCD is an expanded version of the repeater panel. The Hsintuk fire alarm panel, powered by the network, is which wirelessly monitors the heat and smoke detectors distributed across the villa and buildings for any fire alerts. Heat and smoke are detected to generate a local alarm and are also transmitted to the 24 by 7 command center fire control room, which initiates telephonic verification. Thank you.